You know, I found my uh, my fidget spinner again recently. I was starting to wonder why that trend ever died out all those years ago. And then I remembered every single person on earth owned one of these at some point. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 188 and 189 of our One Piece watch today, getting the big, closer to the big 190 and then closer and closer to the big 200. We've reached the climax of this arc, the, the, pretty much the peak of this, because I believe we only have like seven or eight episodes to go. So things are going to start wrapping up here. We've gotten a lot of the backstory behind Nolan and Kalgara. Surprisingly, we started their backstory last episode, which kind of is, is confusing to me because I don't know what that applies to in the current situation, but I guess there's only one way to find out. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big wood bell. Let's hop right into the episodes. Wasn't it unless he can, like, prove that he can save them, though? Damn. Wouldn't it be an act of God that he survived too then? What the hell? That wasn't him lifting it though, was it? That's absurd. They've run out of time. Wait, they still have two hours. He's just stuck there, man. Dang. Dang. Yeah, there's no reason to question it because it's how everybody before him has lived. Sacrifices are in vain. Gosh, they just light that on fire? That's crazy. You're gonna say it like pains him to do it? Oh my gosh! Damn! And like the gods. It's a clash of two people who've lived one way for a long time in their own separate ways. Oh, snack is back. What's in its mouth? Oh, it's the, the baby snack. Oh, that's why they have a cure. And he has a solution to it. That's how they saved Seto. Oh, that's why he was so uh, entranced by the tree when he found it. I figured he would have told him that first. He has a chance to save his people. Why not give it a shot? Unless he thinks no one has an ulterior motive here. Yeah, don't let all those other deaths be in vain, too. I mean, in a sort of way, Kagura can see those other people's sacrifices, worthy sacrifices, the greater good. Did Kagura stop? Okay, I was just about to say, this isn't how no one dies, unless the storybooks are wrong. That is actually a big deal that he just stabbed the snake, thinking that's a god. On the basis of believing him. And Calgary was like pretty much sacrificing his entire worldview right now for it. On the basis of believing Nolan. This music? Sacrifice time. Sacrifice time. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice time. Oh, never mind. They, they brought him down from the altar. Let's go! Everybody's being saved. And now I see why no one and Kagura became friends. He, he saved their village. He saved Kagura's village. Kagura just had to give him a chance to. But I can understand why he'd be so defensive at first. I said, you live your life one way for so long. It's sort of like why I was surprised the people of Skypea were so ready to abandon ship when they've lived their entire life. Just everything's what God Eneru says. And now they're, they're, they're having to change everything they've ever known. It's like, finally, peace. Oh. It looks so nice. A grandchild. Didn't call it a god. <laughs> you guys had to be there. It is a cool friendship. The bell! They heard it already when they got to the island. The god dang bell, man. Such a beautiful ringing. Yeah. It's kind of ominous, though. One Piece does have a lot of good, like, sound design uh, choices. Certain sound effects just really do. They hit. Can I see? God damn! 
Um, uh, it actually was a city of gold. Was all of this stripped for Arc Maxim? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow. It's beautiful. What are they gonna do? Just explore? Wow, he's just letting them take whatever they want. I mean, it's an entire city. There's probably literally like endless amounts of it, like genuinely endless amounts. Hey, he's so generous. Damn. The best trade deal in the history of trade deals. I mean, it's not like they're gonna take all of it. There's, it's not impossible to take all of it. It's an entire city. Mostly the bell he cares about. Gosh. The Poneglyph! Yes! It was directly at the base. So who wrote it? I'm so fascinated by it. That's why I like Robin so much as a character. The fact that that's her mission. Just decipher it all. Find all the secrets. Oh, it's like a calling to home. Fire of Shandora. It is majestic. Yeah, he was able to hear it so far out, too. The snake is sitting there with them. <laughs> the little, like the end wagon, like the tail. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> ah, guys, only you knew. Wow. What a friendship, man. Oh, it's a location. Eternal pose. To where? Intruders. Yeah. The OG Jaya map. Oh, they're able to share the things they've learned and the things they have with each other. Uh, give them stuff to, yeah, plant and farm. Just the sheer partnership of what they can provide for each other and the knowledge they can give each other. This makes me so happy for Nolan and Kagura. As I know, at least from the stories, Nolan da died such a sad death, despite knowing the truth behind everything. But now, so much more fleshed out. How close he and Kagura were. I feel like it's gonna show the tragic day when it finally shoots into the sky. That was what the earthquake was kind of teasing. Do what? What happened? Last night. What happened? No! What happened? Dude! Yeah, he's gonna find out what's happening one way or another. What? Even Seto's changed his mind. Can somebody explain? Had to do with what if whatever was being chopped. Oh my gosh. Dog, what the hell changed? It has to just be a misunderstanding. And no one's not even questioning it either. Like, he does know what happened. <laughs> it's kind of uncomfortable here. It's so bizarre. He wanted him to live there. Bro! I want an explanation. He was holding it in just to, until he was able to actually be alone with Kagura. Oh, he said, sit down. Can somebody explain? Please. 
this sudden hatred after just su such compassion it, it, it's so sad what is happening dude during the scene like immediately following them showing them the bell and the golden city everything i was like actually getting choked up and it shocked me because there wasn't anything like inherently sadder about it i think it was just more like just a warmth in my heart like god dang well it just turned the table so fast episode 189 let's go That's Kagura's daughter, right? She going to explain? Oh, damn. Deforestation? Took their forest. Wait, what if, what if he replanted? No, those were huge trees. That would take years and years and years and years and years. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, you can't fix that either. Oh, no, and no. Oh. They chopped all of them down. And they've just been holding back from just murdering them this whole time. But they, they, they would have felt guilty since they saved them originally. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know if, if no one would have a solution for this either. It's still a big, yeah. It's a, not something you can just fix. Especially if there's that much like heritage behind those trees in particular. It's not even that they're just trees. They're spe like certain specific trees. Yeah, you can't ever undo that. Why did my man just ask Kalgara first, dude? At least he's taking responsibility. The ship! Oh, he's gonna say they're not worthy of taking all that gold. And Kalgara is not gonna be like, give it back. He's more just upset. Probably just sad. What? Single tree? Cut it down. Yeah, I'm confused at what she's getting at. What, not forgiving them? Oh. Oh, wait, what? The trees were infected? Oh. Damn. Wait, so if Kagura had just told no one what was happening and no one explained it, no one still would have apologized, but he would have explained why he did it. They just didn't talk. This is all just a lack of explaining. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah, he probably still would be upset. It's not like he just took the trees and used them for materials and stuff. The people. He's trying to look out for them. But he knows he's still messed up by just doing it without asking. Now, is he pissed or is he... Oh. Oh. And all the gold on the shore, bro. <laughs> No one's crew seems like pretty wholesome. I think they're all beyond that. The Neil Kingdom. That is what their their mask said. Oh, I hope he makes it in time. The bell. It rings. Wait! Put it in park! No and wait! Oh, he sees them. And when no one went back, it was all gone. Oh my gosh. Uh. 
Uh, oh, the Neo looks exactly like the castle of, of crickets. Oh. And this is where this begins, man. He told the stories of the Golden City. Truly a city of gold. Five years later. Rejoice the holy city, right? Oh no. He wants the gold. One year before. I'm guessing this is gonna be when they're sent up into the sky before no one can even get there. Nola. Oh, this is so sad knowing the outcome. This is the grand line after all. It was always a call for him to come back. Oh, man. That's so sad. Nola's freaking out. Oh, my gosh. All the dots connect. All the lines connect. It's just straight up gone. That's all that remains. God damn. This is why he was killed. That's all he wanted was the gold. He knows it exists. He knows he wasn't lying. What about his crew? Yeah, I was just about to say. Are they not standing by him? Oh my gosh. His whole crew? Because they would all be killed, but they're not standing by him. Oh, it's a fake! Oh my gosh! He just silences everybody else. Bro had a paid actor? Dude. Bro's being put to death like freaking Gold Roger. Oh my gosh. His whole crew knows it's not a lie. There's nothing they can do about it. Dude, poor Nolan. Is he gonna hear the bell one more time in the sky? Like a sort of like a symbol of him knowing it's, it's out there somewhere? Right on top of the giant jack. Wait, so where, yeah, where'd the bell go? Damn! And they said they heard the bell ding when they first arrived, when the upper yard first arrived and Verth appeared. They're not accustomed to being so high up. It would be insanely hard to breathe. God, I can't imagine the confusion. So who is this guy that originally claimed it? It's just straight up one of the angels that claimed it and was the first god? To see him again one day. Both wishing to know what happened. And Cricket's been looking ever since. He wants to ring the bell. Oh, it's telling Wiper everything. Damn. That's so sad. Damn. He wasn't the type to. I mean, he knew he wasn't lying. He wouldn't take it back even if it didn't seem like it was there. Wow. Convey the message we are here. Still reach him. No one's dead. Like reach the heavens. Oh my gosh. He's destroying everything. Nuking it all. So what is Endless Verth then? What is Enru searching for? It still doesn't make sense. There is no such thing. Yeah, actually true if Kornis had been a second later. No, no, dude, not McKinley. The bell. It's all about the bell. It's all in every once left. Oh, dude. They're barely escaping. He's just raining everything down. It's gonna be debris falling for for years. Oh my gosh, even Shandora. 
Two voices. Oh, Nami and Luffy? I cannot believe she's trying to catch up. I can't believe Luffy's trying to catch up to him and the fact that Nami's trying to catch up to Luffy. Dude, oh my gosh. Th th this backstory, these last couple episodes have added so much more to this arc and so much more to this climax and this finale. I teared up, bro. Like now knowing the connection that Nolan had with Kalgara and the whole, the, like everything behind the golden bell and the purpose of it. It's so beautiful. Everything Cricket has lived for all these years years has not all been for naught it, it was all true and we knew that whenever they found out that this was jaya originally but it's so much more than that it's so much more than yeah the city's real and that's it it was the connections you people had with the shandians and how everything was taken away from them just by by the sheer grace of this this knock up stream oh my gosh man and it's all gonna come down to the bell and i think that's gonna be where this big final confrontation is if luffy can make it up there but th this is it this is in game i mean he's he's destroying everything Guys, that has been it for episodes 188 and 189 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop us up on the channel if you're new and be sure to leave comments below. Let me know what you thought of these episodes. And as always, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.